The state Republican Party last week gleefully proclaimed Wisconsin Democrats in disarray more than a year out from the 2018 elections. That may or may not be an overstatement, but as we noted recently on this program, more Democrats have said they won't run for governor next year than have declared themselves candidates. As it stands today, there is only one declared Democratic candidate in the race for governor. He's a 25-year-old graduate of Stanford University who has an eight-point plan for the state of Wisconsin. Bob Harlow is from Barneveld, and he joins us today on Upfront. It's good to have you on the program today. Well, thank you for having me, Mike. Yeah, you bet. I'm tell happy us, to be here. Tell us about your reasons for running. Why are you doing this? I'm running for governor because I want to see Wisconsin uh, move towards a strong economic future. And as a third generation Wisconsinite, uh, as someone who grew up in the state and really has a deep connection uh, to Wisconsin, I want to make sure that Wisconsin has a strong economy. And I have not heard in our politics a discussion of the uh, things we need to do to get there. And, and what do we need to do, in your opinion, to get there? Well, we need to invest in Wisconsin, and it's really that simple. Uh, Wisconsin has been headed in a trajectory where a lot of businesses are leaving, and Wisconsinites are having to settle for jobs that pay less, are having to uh, settle for a lower and lower standard of living. And that's because we don't have infrastructure that is attracting and growing strong Wisconsin businesses. That's because we are not investing in the people of Wisconsin through education and figuring out a way to make sure that the research and the graduates coming out of our world-class universities stay in Wisconsin to build a strong economy for Wisconsin. On your website, you have an eight-point plan uh, of what you'd like to do. You said you'd like to create 35,000 infrastructure jobs in your first term as governor. And, and you want to see high-speed rail, I mean high-speed rail, 200-mile-per-hour rail throughout the state of Wisconsin. How do we undertake a project that, that, that is that ambitious, that is that in, expensive? First of all, let me say what it will do. <clears throat> what it will do is Eau Claire will only be 20 minutes away from Minneapolis. Now, if you're a company and you see, uh, you know, now you're going to locate to Eau Claire. Now you're going to put your uh, company that's producing high-value goods and making good-paying jobs in Eau Claire because it's so close to an international airport and a hub of economic activity. So this will uh, bring lots of good-paying jobs to Wisconsin and do exactly what we need to achieve to bring a strong future for Wisconsin. Now, the way we do it is we take out a bond and we pay it over 30 years from the ticket fares uh, for this train, and it will only do good for Wisconsin. There'll be no upfront cost. Uh, all we'll get is the long-term economic growth for decades to come. I want to get a sense of, of your philosophy of politics. You, you mentioned that you worked for, for one summer for former uh, State Senator Dale Schultz, the Republican from South Central Wisconsin. What did you learn from Dale Schultz? From Dale, I think, well, what I learned is exactly the mold of what an extraordinary public servant is, and that's Dale Schultz. Dale Schultz uh, has such a strong relationship with the constituents of his district, and he only did things that were a benefit to his constituents. He made sure that he went out and understood the challenges his constituents were facing and how he could make progress for them in the state of Wisconsin. And, and let me ask you about the question that, that always comes up in a political race today, and that is money. How do you compete? Governor Walker, who we expect will run uh, for re-election, uh, will have a lot of money at his disposal for this race. How does someone who is a political unknown in this state wage a race, uh, and where does the money come from? We are raising, waging that race. Uh, for every dollar we spend on outreach, we raise $2 in grassroots contributions. And we're also bringing in large dollar contributions. I just cashed a thousand dollar check the other day. So for this point in the race, we are, we are having the pace of fundraising that is the pace of fundraising of a campaign that's going to win in 2018. So I have no concerns there. I think uh, that's all going quite well. Bob Harlow is the only declared Democratic candidate for governor in the state of Wisconsin, physics grad from Stanford University and currently living in Barneveld. It's good to have you on the program. Thanks very much for being with us. Thank you so much, Mike. Yeah, you I bet. enjoy being here. Thank good. you. Our editorial partner, WizPolitics.com, will keep you up to date on who's in and who's out in all statewide races. You'll find that on the election blog at WizPolitics.com and on Twitter. When we come back, the other side of the urban revival success story.